Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Coyote Peterson, and this is the Spider Helmet. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. Arachnophobia. It's one of the most commonplace fears in the world and is simply defined as an intense, irrational fear of spiders. Now, for anyone that suffers this phobia, the term irrational is pretty much irrelevant because even the tiniest spider can easily seem the size of a dinosaur. Experts say the best way to get over your fear of something is exposure therapy. In the case of spiders, it would be looking at pictures or even the arachnids themselves. <laughs> well, I've decided to take the concept of exposure therapy to the next level. They say, go big or go home. I say, if you can't go all the way, there's no point in even beginning. Spiders. They proudly hail as one of our planet's most feared, yet most misunderstood species. Now, a large percentage of you out there watching right now likely have arachnophobia. Now, when it comes to spiders, I've worked with many species in the past, including tarantulas, black widows, and even this species that you see right here, the giant golden orb weaver. Now, in the past, I actually freehandled the spider to prove that these giants aren't necessarily out to get you. And if you accidentally run into one in the wild, you aren't necessarily going to be bitten. Now, today what we're going to do is create the ultimate arachnophobic nightmare scenario. We've built what I call the spider helmet, which is a clear plastic capsule that will go over the top of my head. And inside, we're going to place not one, but 20 giant golden orb weaver spiders. Now, it's important to note that all spiders have fangs, all spiders are venomous, and all spiders are capable of biting. Once the capsule is in place and it's locked, I won't have any use of my hands, which means that I will not be in control. That ultimately means that anything is possible. And if I'm bitten, I'm not going to be able to stop the bites from coming. Okay, this is it. The moment you have been waiting for. The reason you clicked on this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Coyote Peterson, and this is the Spider Helmet. I need to try to keep my heart rate as low as I possibly can, and talk as little as possible so that I'm not steaming up the box. All right, are you ready? I think I'm ready. All right. Wait, 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 wait. You've got, you've got all the spiders? They're ready to go. They're ready to go. I gotta go. Okay, how many do we have in there? A lot. A lot. Yeah, of course it's a lot. Now, before we get into the entertainment side of things, first, we need to give you an education about this super cool, creepy crawly. Commonly known as the Golden Silk Orb Weaver, its namesake originates from the golden color of its extremely strong web, which helps to draw in and entangle a variety of victims. Some reports even document these giants eating small birds. Yep, you heard me right. A spider so big, it can eat birds and is considered one of the most widespread spider species. They commonly inhabit tropical regions and love the same beautiful vacation spots you likely dream of visiting. Females are significantly larger than males and can reach several inches in length, the perfect size for spindly drumming up nightmares. But it's only fair to mention that they are not aggressive toward humans and their venom is very mild. So unless you plan on running face first into their webs, or sticking your head in a box full of them, realistically, you should have nothing to fear. All right, are you ready? I think I'm ready. All right. Okay, they're, they're crawling all over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice and gentle, mm -hmm. nice and gentle. Mm -hmm. We got some webbing already. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is the craziest feeling ever. You alright? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Please don't bite me, please don't bite me. Go. Okay. Stage is set. Okay, okay. Now my goal is to try to stay in here for several minutes. And I'm opening up my eyes. Oh wow, that is a 
about as creepy a feeling as it gets. I can feel all of those hooked legs crawling all over me. Okay, I see the spiders are completely surrounding my face at this point. Okay, they are crawling up the back of my head right now. These little legs are really sharp. Okay, I've got one coming right up over the top of my head now. I imagine if you're still watching this video at this point, you are in a state where your skin is absolutely crawling. You can only imagine how I feel right now. Oh boy. Now what's crazy about the golden orb weaver is they, they spin these incredibly strong webs and I can actually feel the webbing is now all entangling the back of my head. Oh, I got a spider right in my face. It's walking right up the side of my face. It is so hard to not try to swat at my face. See this? I want to do this. I want to shoo them away from me, but I can do absolutely nothing at this point other than to try to stay completely still. If you think sticking my hands into an aquarium full of piranhas or sea lamprey was creepy, this definitely is the next level. Well, my head has been encapsulated by the spider helmet now for several minutes. And at this point, I haven't taken a single bite. I hope that this extreme arachnophobic experiment has helped display that spiders, while creepy, aren't necessarily aggressive toward humans. If you come across a spider in your near future, stay calm, simply walk in the opposite direction, and both you and the spider will carry on a happy existence. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Uh, guys, I think I'm ready to take off the spider helmet. I bet you clicked on this video because immediately you thought, there is no way Coyote Peterson is going this far to teach us about animals. Sure, I've done some pretty crazy things over the years, but the Coyote Pack knows I perform these stunts because they're an entertaining way to learn about the animals we don't understand. Spiders are amazing creatures. Let them do what they do, and I promise the natural world will be a better place. I know that by wearing a spider helmet, I'm not going to be the silver bullet that cures your fear of spiders. But if you have arachnophobia and you bravely watch this video, then you have taken a huge step by embracing exposure therapy. And for that, I am proud of you. If you're still afraid of arachnids and can't fathom the idea of being close to one, but want to test your ability to watch them crawl around on me, then go back and check out this episode where I free handle one of our planet's most iconic yet misunderstood spider species. And if you want even more Brave Wilderness, consider joining memberships so you can get access to behind the scenes content and monthly digital hangouts with me and the crew.